Hey, okay. Pulling shoes now, we're at shoe pulling shoes. I fixed Bill's hind shoes. It was only one. One of them was already tight, so I didn't have to touch that one. So now I'm just gonna pull off the black's hind shoes. So to do that, go around with a clinch cut and straighten up all the clinches. Or cut them, whatever comes first. If you don't have clinch cutters, I used to use just these nippers and then we could grab them and twist them off and that worked okay. These work better though. It's getting kind of dark. More showers coming in. So I can't see what I'm doing. Of course, I could hardly see anyways. You just go by feel. I think I got them all. Take my hoof pullers, which are not very good. A lot of them are a lot longer, which gives you a lot more leverage. But anyways, I get underneath the shoe and usually, usually just throw it forward like that. Just inch ahead just a little bit at a time. Keep walking like that. And usually it comes right off. Nails stay on, comes right off. As you can see, this toe cork is pretty well shot, gone completely. So now I just take my hook knife. Not too fussy right now, but I'll cut this frog down a little bit. As I'm cutting down, I look for spots like this, the black spots here, and I try to make sure I get them cleaned out. There's still a little bit more there. That's where the old thrush will grow. We have troubles with thrush. But he's got good feet all around. Scrape the sole a little bit. Twenty year old perch on, he's got some excellent feet. Like I said, I'm not at all too fussy for today. Just kind of hit the high spots. And then right, it's the toe. I like to leave my heels as high as possible. So I cut 
hardly anything off them. I'll cut nothing off them today actually. But this the toe, I can take a, I don't know, a little bit right off that whole toe. Just a matter of walking around it, bit by bit. Then get it somewhat as level as possible. And then I will probably take my toes shorter than some people will. Um, so I will try to find the white line and I'll go back to almost to the white line. And that's not what a lot of people do, but that's what I do. I've had good luck with that setup, so we'll just snip a little bit off, not a lot. If you've got too much puff out there, that's when you're going to get caught and they're going to break them up. A nice, small, short puff is less apt to get caught on things and break. I'm not trying to teach you to be barriers at all, but maybe some new people with horses are scared to tackle the job of feet. And I just wanted to tell you it's not that difficult to do a, a job like this. What I'm doing is just kind of rounding them corners off a little bit. Um, now, I'm happy with the, with the flip itself here. I'm going to flip it up top here and just kind of make it a little bit better from the front side. So now, as I look at this, I'm not going to do anything except for take the rasp to it. I'm going to keep as round and nice of a puff wall as I can so that it won't get broken up. We're just going to be plowing in the dirt. It's not like we're going to be out on the blacktop. It's not like we're going to be out in the rocks in the woods. We're just going to be in dirt. So what I want is a nice round small hook. Just like that. Nothing to it. I'm totally happy with that. See the nail holes, how much the hook has grown down. The nail holes are so low. When they go back on, they'd be way up in this area here. That's how much this has grown in two months' time. Okay, one done. One more to go.
Come on, bud. Come on. What do you think of this huff clencher? I don't know how old it is. I don't know who made it. But it doesn't look store bought. I don't know. Maybe it is. It's all bent right here from use. Okay, now all I have to do is flip it up to the front, clean it up a little bit. He's all done. And I'll just have to pull Ken's shoes off and then 
They're ready to plow. It's uh, only going to be a couple, three weeks, and then we'll have to put their winter shoes on anyway, so it won't be long. I hope you enjoyed the video.